may not be alive after you devour these. Even a drop of poison can be fatal. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 foods that can kill you. We don't care what they look like, we'll eat them any way they can fit on our plate. For this list, we're looking at those edible foods that may be fatal if you eat or prepare them the wrong way. If you eat too many of these guys, they might just be deadly. We're excluding foods that many people are allergic to, such as peanuts and shellfish, because those are harmless to a majority of people. Number 10. Taro Likely first found in Southeast Asia, the thick stems, leaves, and leaf stems of this plant are often used and eaten as vegetables. The taro is a root crop with light purple stems that are cooked in various ways and can be used both in main meals and in desserts. However, when raw, you should stay far, far away from this plant. Why? Well, it contains a toxic chemical compound called calcium oxalate, which, when consumed, can lead to kidney stones and, in extreme cases, death. So if you want to be safe, roast, boil, or bake it. But if you want to be even more prudent about it, try adding a bit of baking soda or drinking a glass of milk when you've got a taro craving to satisfy. Number 9. Ghost Pepper It's more tingly than hot. Yeah. Are you one of those people that hates putting Tabasco sauce on your food because it makes things too spicy? Well, multiply that flavor by exactly 401.5 and you have the intensity of the ghost pepper. Burn so bad! Also known by names like boot jalokia and ghost chili, this hybrid pepper is one of the world's hottest foods, and it is definitely not advised that you eat too many of them. Get some water, fool. Water. While consuming a few at a time is fine, albeit a little rough on your mouth, eating too much at once can result in severe stomach issues, as well as seizures and heart attacks, which could obviously result in a painful death. <laughs> Number 8. Eggs As cool as Rocky Balboa makes it look, take our word for it and never eat raw eggs. Not only are they slimy and disgusting, but like uncooked meat, eating raw eggs can result in salmonella poisoning, which is definitely not a fun experience. It's such an intolerable pain. Um, you're hunched over, you, you, you've got a hot pack on your stomach, you're just trying to relieve the pain somehow, but it just doesn't go away. Furthermore, the consumption of uncooked eggs can result in severe diarrhea and vomiting, which can quickly lead to dehydration and death if such symptoms are not looked after. In the worst case, the bacteria can get into the bloodstream and cause a severe infection called sepsis. That's life-threatening. And if you have a weak immune system, then even more serious complications can occur. It's just not a good idea, period. That is so disgusting! Oh. <laughs> Number seven, Aki. What are you eating? Aki and saltfish. Native to West Africa, the ackee is a fruit that is popular on the Caribbean islands, especially Jamaica. So if you're ever on vacation, it's probably better for you to steer clear of this seemingly tropical fruit. The inedible and unripened parts of an ackee contain the powerful and fatal toxins hypoglycin A and B, which, when consumed, can lead to very low glucose levels and hypoglycemia, as well as what's known as Jamaican vomiting sickness. In extreme cases, it can even cause seizures and death. The fruit is so dangerous that importing canned ackee was temporarily limited in America. So it's likely that you've never even seen or heard of it before. Have this little ackee, and you leave it to simmer. Number 6. Sanakji Many would call it ugly and disgusting. The one thing they wouldn't call it is dinner. You might not recognize this by looking at it, but Sanakjiho is actually a popular snack in Korea. And what is it exactly, you ask? Well, it's live octopus. That's right, this small underwater organism with eight arms is still alive as in slithering around on the plate when it's served. That means that when you consume sanakji, you are taking the risk of having the suction cups stick to your esophagus on the way down, which can lead to choking and even death. Many reports have been made of people dying while eating sanakji, which begs the question, 
why do they still serve it? They're brave. They're very brave. Number five, mushroom. And、uh, that one is poisonous. There really are a wide variety of mushrooms. There's the delicious edible type that have been eaten for centuries. There's the type that make you see pretty colors. And then there's the poisonous type that can painfully kill you if you consume them. Poisonous mushrooms can take a varying amount of time to take effect, but generally consumption leads to kidney, liver, or respiratory failure, depending on what kind of fungus you've eaten. Just be especially careful if you pick them in the wild, as some of them look quite similar to the edible ones. While stomach problems are the most common consequences of mushroom poisoning, death is not out of the question either. Number four, elderberry. Stop! Stop! Growing in both the northern hemisphere as well as South America and Oceania, the sambucus may look delicious, but eating them can be extremely hazardous to your health. Various parts of the plant, such as the leaves and seeds, as well as the berries themselves, contain cyanide-inducing glycoside. So, when eaten uncooked and ingested into the human body, these parts then produce, you guessed it, cyanide. Essentially, eating large amounts of raw elderberries is like swallowing a cyanide pill. Needless to say, it won't turn out well for you. Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> Number three, pufferfish or blowfish. Now, who messes with the blowfish, Jesse? Nobody. You're damn right. One of the more famous examples of a deadly food, the blowfish is known worldwide for its toxicity and harmful effects. The organs of the blowfish, also known by names like the pufferfish and fugu in Japan, are extremely poisonous because they contain a highly toxic neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin. Blowfish, isn't that poisonous? It's a rare delicacy for the man who has no fear of an excruciating death. If you eat those parts and are poisoned, this can quickly lead to paralysis while you're still conscious and eventual death. That's why it's actually illegal for the emperor of Japan to consume it. Only chefs who have undergone years of training are allowed to prepare and serve the fish as a delicacy in restaurants. And we're glad of that, at least. Fugu, it is blowfish, but I should warn you that one. Come on, pal, fugu me. Number two. Almond. Do you see these almonds on my split? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. I see the almonds on your split. Mr. Redmond, you know I don't like almonds on my split. Almonds are so potentially dangerous when consumed that the U.S. Department of Agriculture made it mandatory for the seeds of the almond tree to go through a special heat treatment and pasteurization as of 2007. This is done to avoid infection by Salmonella. However, we should also explain that there are different types of almonds, such as the sweet and bitter kinds, and it's the bitter ones that you need to be careful of. Why? They are much higher in cyanide than the sweet ones, which barely have any. Certain cultures used to use bitter almond extract medicinally, but even minuscule doses can prove fatal. Especially in children, they're even illegal to sell or buy in New Zealand due to their potential danger. Fortunately, bitter almonds in general consumption are rarely found, since the sweet kinds are what's sold in stores. It's just that bitter almond contamination cases have also been reported on occasion. I slipped this off a rather recumbent rat in the slaughterhouse. Note the blue discoloration, the faint smell of bitter almonds, telltale traces of cyanide. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Because the leaves are actually not edible, they contain toxic levels of oxalic acid, and they're poisonous. The researchers conclude that while nutmeg is much cheaper for use and probably less dangerous than heroin, you don't want to take too much. Pick through a pound of dry red kidney beans to discard any broken or discolored beans. Number one, potato. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Everyone's favorite side dish, especially when you're having meat. Potatoes are generally safe if eaten correctly and in time, but when they turn green, stay away. Potatoes produce a glycoalkaloid called solanine, 
end. Just as this natural poison deters predators, it also deters humans, as it is toxic. In one case from 1899, 56 German soldiers all experienced the symptoms of solanine poisoning, which can include diarrhea, vomiting, headaches, coma, and even death. An average grown male would only have to consume roughly one pound of green potatoes to become fatally poisoned. Although we're not sure why anyone would want to consume green potatoes in the first place. Do you agree with our list? What poisonous food do you consider the deadliest? There is no known cure and it's particularly cruel as you start to feel better just before you die. For more eye-opening top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.